So we are here at the HKTC Fair. Yeah. Who are you? Um, my name is Nan. I'm in City University of Hong Kong. Yeah. So where is the City University? Uh, in the city? Yeah, it's near a very uh, beautiful shopping mall and in the Kowloon area. And uh, we have been focused on the research on different kinds of power electronic power supplies. And here today, uh, we propose some new technology which is providing power supply for our lighting system. It's never been shown before? Yes, some similar things can be seen in the market, but we have made some improvement and uh, providing some uh, some new function for this kind of technology. So, a lot of, a lot of mil billions of these are installed around the world. Yeah, a lot of. And, and this is uh, T eight fluorescent, fluorescent lamp, most widely used lamp in the in today's world. Like in the offices and schools. Yeah, yeah everywhere. Here. No. Here, here, no? um, here, right now you can see, but I believe in the room next to this yeah. room you can find some. So this is this is like exactly the the format that is very very popular, right? Very exactly popular. this size. Yeah, these this connectors. Size. This is most standard, 36 watt T8 fluorescent lamp. So you suggest to to modify this? Yeah. Just this part, not the rest, right? Yes. Only this part by an LED tube which consumes only half of power. This is 36 watts, and we would like to replace it by only 18 watts LED. But same amount of light? Approximately. Really? At least I can show you uh, the appearance should be the same. Half the yeah. power for as much light? Yeah. For real? Yes. First, I can show you something. This yes. is an LED. You can see how bright it looks like. And after this, I can replace it directly. Okay, but this procedure is reversed, but uh, we are going, just going to show some comparison between them. This is T8, first and two. You can see the brightness is quite similar. So, basically, what are you doing with this? What, is, what are you demonstrating here? Yeah, I'm demonstrating here is for a normal T8 first lamp, yep. it needs power by this guy. Oh, maybe this is all electromagnetic battery. It's all technology. That is uh, in this part here. Uh, always, as always well. behind here. Whenever you use a T8 for a lamp, yeah. lamp, you need this guy to power this, okay. power the lamp. Or maybe this one. Or that. Yeah, it's yeah. one or the other. They they perform the same function, but uh, they are totally different. So do you suggest they will still be there, or you will actually do? Yes. S what will you do with those? Normally, with this guy. If you directly connect the LED to this guy, uh, yeah. to, to the ballast, it will not work. Because this one is providing low frequency AC power, okay. and this is providing high frequency AC power. Okay. But LED requires DC, okay. that is totally different. Okay. So, what we provide is we provide a power uh, adapter which can convert AC power to DC. And no matter what kind of AC is provided, I mean, either in a few tens of hertz or maybe a few tens of kilohertz, it doesn't matter. This, this circuit here. So this is what you do? Yes. This is your innovation? Yeah, yes. Which you're going to integrate inside yeah. inside the, the la inside this part. Yes. It's going to be in here. Yes. Make it thinner or longer and make How it more compact. It needs to be cheap as well. No, this is cheap right now. Uh, this is going to be cheaper and cheaper, but I have to say right now the LED itself is not that cheap. How much but it's getting cheaper. Uh, right now, this costs uh, a, a like uh, from ten to twenty dollars around. Ten that. to twenty dollar. Can you integrate that. this within a not too high a bump cost difference? In, no, How but much? compared to LED, this one only requires. I can expect uh, if you make massive production, it only costs around uh, two to three dollars like that. Two to three dollar, you can make a system like there small enough to fit in here. Yeah. True. And, Consume half the power, really. That's the point. That's the, the goal. To the total power consumption only consumes half the power. I'm talking about this. Actually, this guy consumes only a very small amount of power. I think it's only three watts. Okay. Yeah. So this is your project. Yeah, this is my project. So, uh, are you a team? E yes, we have uh, two guys working on LED in our lab, and uh, supervised by professor. Professor. And when are you gonna be able to mass manufacture this in everywhere in the whole world and get it? How soon? With, hopefully within next year, I hope. But right now, I just went into the first step. Yeah. Right now, this guy, yeah. uh, this one, actually, is a product by a Japanese company. 
But this can right now can only work with this high frequency balance. Okay. And uh, later we will make more one step one step further. Yes. Make an all compatible. So uh, do you have patents? Yes. Patents. On this sending. Yes. Patents. And did you speak with the people that make these? Yes. Are they interested? Yes, we have several companies interested in this, and actually we have a regular meeting with them okay. to talk about the, 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 the development of this okay. thing. What and kind of other things uh, happens at the City University of Hong Kong? How many students are there? Yeah, I'm talking about actually we have many different departments. Some are working on radio frequency, some other projects. And in our lab, we have around uh, 20 students in our lab working on different uh, projects covering the solar panel, a solar converter, and also the high-efficiency DC-DC converter. Of course, also lighting, about different kinds of lamps, not only LED, also fluorescent and uh, incandescent, all different kinds. Do you think uh, the industry has been too lazy trying to save power because they just didn't care enough? Yeah, actually, uh, so far I can see there have a lot of companies very interested in this energy saving technology. Yeah. And uh, we have close contact with each other. Actually, they are just waiting for this new technology to come out and they can apply it to save energy. Cool. They're quite willing to do, to do so. Thanks.